Hello everyone. Spiders are the most numerous order of all anthropods. Representatives of this order live almost all over the planet. All of them are predators, with the exception of one species. Many people suffer from arachnophobia, a fear of spiders. Although some people aren't only afraid of live spiders, but feel uncomfortable even looking at their pictures. Regardless of their size, these animals have to have special weapons to defend themselves against aggressors and to be able to hunt and eat prey. Most of the time, this weapon is venom, the toxins of which can be fatal to humans. In this episode, we'll tell you about the most dangerous venomous spiders in the world. So click on the notification bell right now to make sure you never miss our next episode. Let's go! Yellow Sack Spider the yellow sack spider can be found from Central Europe to Central Asia. It is the only venomous spider in Germany. Its habitat is currently expanding due to global warming. Depending on the sex, the size of the adult spiders is different. Females can reach a length of about 15 millimeters, while males grow to about 12 millimeters. Typically, their body is yellow and their head is red. Their chalicera are massive and bright red in color. The claws that are located on the chalicera are black. The bite of the yellow sack spider is rather painful and feels somewhat like a wasp bite. When a person gets bitten, they develop nausea, fever, severe malaise, and even tissue necrosis may occur. Their period of activity is between May and August. These spiders build their nests between leaves and inflorescence of cereal plants. An interesting fact is that the females make harder nests because they make an egg sac there, which they aggressively defend. Females die before the end of summer, and only young individuals remain alive during winter. Spiders hunt at night, tracking their prey, while they hide in their nests during the day. Australian Black Widow Even the name makes it obvious that these spiders live in Australia. Females are larger and they reach 10 millimeters in length, in contrast to males who only reach 4 millimeters in length. These spiders are black with a bright red stripe on their back. The bite of the Australian black widow is dangerous to humans as the venom is neurotoxic. These spiders hunt insects and they can feast on small lizards and even snakes. Wood lice make a special treat for the Australian black widow. This spider uses webs for hunting. The web lets the spider know that the prey has fallen into its trap. The spider approaches its prey by the web, sprinkling sticky liquid silk on it. This is how it immobilizes the victim. After that, the spider bites the insect's joints and wraps it in the same sticky silk. Unlike other spiders, the Australian black widow doesn't wrap its prey in a cocoon, but simply leaves it under a layer of hard silk. Having injected venom into the insect's body, the spider takes the prey to its nest. A while later, the spider drinks the insides of its prey, which have become liquid because of the venom. The time required for this transformation varies between 5 and 20 minutes, depending on the size of the victim and the amount of venom released. These spiders can enter human homes and bite residents. The bite of this spider causes lactrodectism. It begins with pain around the bite site which then spreads over the entire area of the bite within 24 hours. Other symptoms include nausea, vomiting, and headache. An interesting fact is that this spider tends to eat representatives of its own kind. Chinese Bird Spider This golden brown spider lives in China and Vietnam. Adult spiders reach 20 centimeters in length. This animal only becomes aggressive when it senses danger. Their venom is rather toxic. It can be fatal to small animals and dangerous to humans. Therefore, in case of a bite, it's best to urgently seek medical help. Brown Recluse Spider This spider is yellow-brown or dark brown in color. It also has a violin pattern on its back. It reaches 2 centimeters in length. These spiders set up their nests in warm places, often in human homes. The bite of the venomous recluse spider requires urgent medical attention. The venom has a negative effect on the skin and can even be fatal in children. 
the pain starts off at the bite side and gets stronger over the next couple of hours, and a blister also appears at the side of the bite. The venom is toxic and destroys the dermis. If the dead tissue isn't removed in time, the situation can be aggravated by infection. In case of getting bitten, one should wash the bite site with soap and apply ice. Chilean Recluse Spider This venomous recluse spider lives in the east of the United States. The leg span of this spider reaches from 6 to 20 millimeters in different representatives. Females are usually larger in size. The color of these spiders ranges from brown to dark yellow. However, there are also some individuals of gray color. There is a dark violin-shaped image on the cephalothorax. What's unusual about these spiders is that they have six eyes instead of eight. Like all spiders, they hide during the day and go out to hunt other spiders or insects at night. The venom is rather toxic and can cause lexosilism in humans. This recluse spider doesn't attack people. It only bites humans if they pose danger to it or its territory. This spider bites people when it gets under their clothes, bedding, or inside their shoes. The bite feels like a needle prick. Pain and itching start at the side of the bite a little later. Depending on the amount of venom that enters into the bloodstream, this time can range from 2 to 8 hours. Moreover, the bitten person develops nausea, malaise, and fever. Black Widow This spider lives in the Americas. Adult spiders are black. Females have a red hourglass-shaped spot and reach a length of 10 millimeters. Males have an elongated body shape and reach a length of 4 millimeters. These spiders lead a solitary lifestyle and only come together for mating. Their life expectancy is about one year on average and four years in captivity. The black widow has toxic venom that causes lactrodectism in humans. The neurotoxin spreads throughout the lymphatic system. Children and elderly people get more severe symptoms. However, according to statistics, with proper and timely medical care, complete recovery is very likely. Sydney Funnel Web Spider this venomous spider lives in Australia and reaches 5 centimeters in length. Its color ranges from bluish black to black. However, there are representatives of brown color. The name clearly states where exactly these spiders live, in the vicinity of Sydney. They are called funnel webs because they make web traps in the shape of a funnel. The bite of this spider is quite dangerous because its venom affects the nervous system and can be fatal to humans. 13 people are known to have died from the bite of this spider, which is why an antidote has been developed. It's made from the blood of animals that are immune to this venom. An interesting fact, this venom doesn't work on dogs and cats. Six-Eyed Sand Spider The six-eyed sand spider can be found in Africa and South America. Its venom is highly concentrated and is dangerous even for humans. It causes tissue necrosis. These spiders avoid coming across humans, and they only bite humans to defend themselves. These spiders don't weave webs, but hunt using disguise. They burrow into the sand with their legs, and having tracked down the prey, they attack it. Most of the time, they prey on insects and scorpions. If the hunt is unsuccessful, the spider can survive without food for about a year. Brazilian Wandering Spider This spider is one of the most venomous in the world. It's rather aggressive, and its venom has powerful neurotoxins. If a person gets bitten, they develop allergies, pain, and paralysis of the respiratory muscles, which cause the person to start suffocating and die in a few hours. For children and people with weak immunity, this venom can be fatal. In most cases, these spiders don't attack people first. They even like living in the attics, closets, and boxes in people's homes. The wandering spider is called so because it constantly changes its habitat. It doesn't weave webs, preferring to hunt instead. In addition to other spiders, insects, and birds, this spider also loves eating bananas. That concludes our episode today. Which one do you think is the most dangerous spider in this video? Share your thoughts in the comments. 
don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And be sure to share this video with your friends. See ya!